easy to read books on, on devices now. Um, it's, it's like being a blacksmith when cars came out. I mean, it, it was hard for a blacksmith to keep up, you know. Um, Moe's began in 1959 as a used paperback shop uh, on the other side of town. It was started by Moe Moskowitz. And when paperbacks first started coming onto the scene, uh, he realized that there would be a good market for used paperbacks. Uh, most of my favorite memories of the store involve Mo um, and his craziness. Uh, most people, a lot of people were offended by Mo. I was offended by Mo. Oh, I don't know. You know, Mo used to smoke cigars at the front counter uh, back when it was possible to do that. Uh, and one day, instead of putting out a cigar, he just threw it in the trash can. And of course, the trash can took fire and the flames were leaping up about 15 feet. <laughs> we had to get our fire extinguisher. The future. Everyone in the book trade is pessimistic. They'll tell you otherwise, but um, you know, if you're dealing with, with actual books, um, it's a very difficult existence and a very difficult market and requires constant adaptation. And um, it's, a, it's a very hard game to be playing now. Telegraph Avenue itself, um, e-books, and internet sales. Telegraph Avenue has been a terrible place for people to shop for many years here because they get hassled, they get spare change, they get abused verbally, um, it's ugly. Mm, we're sort of breaking even, yeah, breaking even I guess you could say. I mean there's certainly never any money left over. Uh, there's, there isn't really another store like it in, in the country and um, visiting academics uh, all would often make it a point to come here because they're not going to find uh, the kind of books they want anywhere else. So, and that's its sort of unique place. Mm, there's just nothing, nobody else who does the same thing we do, and we do it really well.